everybody, it's Dimity back here again with another mother runner in the Train Like a Mother Club. Super excited to be back for another video about hip stabilization and core stability. What we're gonna work on today though is really hip stabilization. I'm gonna give you three moves um, that are killer as far as building stability and strength in your glute medius and your glute minimus. Those are the two muscles on the sides of your glutes, kind of, that um, are really important for keeping your hips balanced and strong so that you're not teeter-tottering your way down the path when you run. So you're gonna need a band. I have three here. I have a light, I have a medium, and I have a heavy. Um, so when you are doing these, I would say let's go for one that is that feels very doable right now. As your form gets better, you can challenge yourself with the resistance, but, um, but err on the side of making it too easy right now instead of too hard. All right, let's get going. All right, we are starting on all fours like a canine. We are gonna be starting with a fire hydrant. So I have the band right above my knees. If it is too much with a band on your knees, um, just take it off and just do the fire hydrant as it is. We're gonna do 20 on each side. We're gonna do that twice, okay? So we're gonna pick a side, any side, and you're gonna lift your leg just like your favorite dog, trying to keep your hips as stable as they can be. So I'm not jacking my leg up. I'm not trying to go for maximum height, I'm going for stability and strength and kind of structure of movement here. So that's five. So you should be able to know by 10 if the band is a good idea. Because <laughs> if you're struggling a lot with the band, then just take it off because you're still raising the weight of your leg, which is not nothing, okay? We're on 11, 12, 13. My hands, palms are right under my shoulders. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, let's switch sides. Here we go, other side. And I'm really thinking about keeping my hips kind of pointed straight down and feeling like they are balanced, right? Like I'm raising my right leg right now and I know my right hip is higher than my left, but I'm trying to think about keeping it as balanced as possible. We'll call that eight, nine, 10, 10 more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one. Switching sides, here we go. Other side. And you'll also find, it's kind of a fun little, uh, I don't know, byproduct, I guess, of the fire hydrant, that um, even though the leg that I'm lifting is working, the leg that's also supporting it is working. I can feel it in my hip, in my glute. I can kind of feel it stabilizing, and that's what you wanna feel, okay? So we'll call that eight, nine, 10, 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, last five, four on this side, four, three, two, Last one. Okay, on the other side. Here we go. 20 more, and then we're done with this. <laughs> Two, three, four, and five. You can just almost picture yourself running and being like, wow, I can see how getting these stabilizing muscles on the side of my glutes would kind of help keep you upright, help keep you balanced, right? Not let one hip dip one way too much when you run. There's 12, 13, 14, 15, one, two, three, four, last one, five. Great work. Okay, we are now gonna do some clamshells. The clamshell position is 
Knees bent about 90 degrees. Heels in line with your butt, in line with your shoulders. If you want to line up against a wall or against the back of a rug or a yoga mat, that's helpful. And basically clamshells, I have the band right above my knee again. Um, if it's too much, take it off or go lighter, okay? Because we are doing 50 at a side, okay? So here we go. Um, and I'm doing 50 because, you know what, a lot of YouTube videos like will say, okay, this is how you do a clamshell. And then they kind of let you do it yourself, which is great. I mean, you know, I trust you to know the form and everything, but there's something to be have someone else counting for you, which we're on 10 right now. Um, and just kind of sitting and doing with you. So that's what I'm here for, to do your clamshells with you. Um, so here's the deal with clamshells. We want to keep our hips pointed forward. I'm trying not to lean back and I am using my right leg, my top leg to lift and the movement is coming from that glute med, glute min, that area right kind of right back behind your hip. We're calling that 20, okay? And um, I'm keeping my feet sandwiched together. Five, five more will be 30, we'll be more than halfway there. Two, if you need more of a challenge, I'll show you what you can do. That's 30. You can lift your feet up and clamshell from here. Okay, this is important that you think about your form a lot and that your hips are facing forward, okay? I'm pretty sure my form is pretty sucky here, so I'm gonna put my legs back down. But that's one way to really up the challenge. When 50 feels too easy and you're like, oh, I don't know if I wanna go to a harder band, put those feet up in the air. This is 40, or I'm sorry, 38. 39, 40, we got 10 left, you guys, okay? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, woo, 4, 3, 2, on your last one, let's hold it for the count of 10. Up, oh, we're gonna go 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, switch sides. I'm gonna check my alignment. Heels to butt to head more or less, and I'm going. So if you want, if it makes it more comfortable for you, you can lay your head down on the top of your arm, or you can rest your head in your hand, it doesn't matter. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And again, I've got my hips nice and stacked. Really make sure that there's one on top of the other and they're both facing forward, okay? Because if I'm like this, I'm not getting the muscle, I'm not focusing on the muscle that I need, okay? The area that I need. That's 15. Whew, one side is definitely easier. This is my easier side, in case you were wondering. Three. Four, five again if you want. You can lift your arm, uh, feet up into the air. Two, three, four. That's 25, halfway there. One, two, three. And that's 30, yeah, I'm putting my feet back down, but you can keep going with them up. <laughs> two, three. In case you were wondering, I've been using the medium band on this one. I started with the easy one way back in the day, or I started with none actually way back in the day. Moved to easy, now I'm on a medium. And if I've been doing them a lot, I will go to the harder one, but I tend to find that that gets me pretty tired and I really twerk my leg, okay? So again, you want a resistance that is fairly doable. Here's 42, 43. Nice work, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and we're holding it up for 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Hey, last one for today. Here we go, 
it's the monster walk. The band options. Above your knees is the easiest. Below your knees, a little bit harder, and the most challenging is around your ankles, okay? What you're gonna do for the monster walk is you're gonna bend your knees back, it's that athletic position you probably taught in seventh grade basketball, and we're just gonna walk from one side to the other, okay? We're gonna keep tension in the band. You are gonna, if you reach over, you can feel your muscles activating on the side of your hip, and we're just gonna do that, okay? So we're gonna do it for about two minutes, and I realize you can walk like 10 steps in one direction. I'm just staying in the picture here, so I'm taking it back and forth a lot. But you know, if you have a long hallway, go all the way down, come all the way back, okay? Um, and I have, just so you know, so I was using a medium on the fire hydrant and the clamshells. Right now I have doubled up. I have the heavy and a light around my ankles right now because obviously I've got a lot more uh, force when I stand up and move my whole leg. So, you know, when you're doing a standing thing, it's probably okay to up the resistance a little bit more with your band, okay? That's great, you guys, we're almost halfway there. Keeping your neck, I mean, sorry, keeping your neck bent, keeping your knees a little bent, keeping your gaze forward, chest back, and I can feel it. I hope you guys can too. I'm gonna to take a couple extra steps out one way and then the other. Last one for today. So put everything you can into this, keep it going. I know you're like, whoa, my glutes, my sides, they are on fire. It's great, it's what we need. All right, we got 30 seconds left, you guys. You got this. Nice work. Fifteen. So if you're all the way at the end of a hallway, come on back so we can finish up together. Three. Two and one. Great work, you guys. I will see you next time.